Hey guys, I'm just here after work, but we're getting some rain and um, I wanted to come up to the woods and do a video. I, I thought it would be light, but the phone's instantly getting covered. So I'm under the highway. Someone can come from either direction. And um, I realize I've been doing a lot of harmonica videos lately, going hard on the harp. And that started because when my guitar, my Gibson guitar needed a repair, basically. I didn't want to keep playing it at that point with the bridge lifting. And that's when I decided I'm going to make videos, lessons on everything I learned how to play on thus far on the harp, but go back and refine it and uh, remember how to do it just right. And then suddenly I got this urge to get a Martin guitar. I don't know, because you know I have a Gibson. And I saw, and I was, at first I was looking at 0018s. And, and then I figured I already have a double O with spruce top mahogany back and sides. I knew I didn't want the triple O or the OM, which the triple O and OM are the same body shape but a different scale length. Martin. I knew I didn't want to dread them. And I was looking at Sweetwater and I said, I'm going to get a guitar up Sweetwater for once. But stay tuned because that's not what happened. And I was looking at the Sweetwater site and saw a single O18, but I, it had a real streaky fretboard, and the fretboard was made of ebony. And I didn't like that, it, the streaks on it, but at first I thought it looked cool until I researched about streaky ebony, and then I realized that this modern day ebony, most of it is being dyed to be flat black, and the best ebony is like would be the solid black. Well, I like the look of the solid black after I found that out with the flat black bridge and the flat black fretboard. And so, um, and so I went on Reverb and I just for the fun of it started researching the 018 on Reverb to see how what kind of selection they have, which is a, is the smallest body in Martin Standard Series, and. Um, And I was shocked to find one with a flat black fretboard in Northampton, Massachusetts. Now, I live right next to Northampton, Massachusetts. So I was shocked, and I realized I liked that one better. And then um, I had my mind set on it at that point. Because I already have a Gibson, and I went on there, that store. It's called, I'm not going to tell you the name of it, but it's a store in Northampton. And because there's another guitar I'm looking at there, and, um, and they had very slim selection, but the selection they did have was very, very interesting. They had like a Martin D35 dreadnought. They had a vintage Gibson arch top, and then this other Gibson, a used. Gibson three-quarter size, which was very, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But I already had a Gibson small body, have, so I, the next logical thing to do was to get a Martin. Um, and this was all prompted by my guitar needing a repair. And I could even get a repair at this place. Because now I'm not crazy about this other guy. I, he's okay, he's okay. But he's, I think he's too full of himself. I like people that are responsive and you know, he's all about the Instagram and you know, leaving you on red or whatever. And so, um, and so I call. I initially wanted to go in person and get it, but I didn't get a ride there. So luckily, all their listings for all their guitars are on Reverb, which is very unusual. So I was able to use reverb and, th and then I called the guy back and he said you know I don't normally do this 
but I'm going to deliver it to your house uh, myself uh, tomorrow. This was, It will be tomorrow, but this was a couple days ago. Um, and I'm going to deliver it to you. And, um, and I was waiting, and before that he said, I've been waiting over a year for this Martin to come in. Because on the site it says, we're open to haggling and, and this and that. And I said, well, what does that mean? And he said, oh, well, actually, I can't haggle with this Martin because um, I've been waiting for over a year for it. Because this is a new model. I mean, it's a new guitar. It's not used. And it is a new, like, it's a reimagining of, a, of an older model. But it's like a, it's not a slotted headstock. It's um, It's got the open back tuners, mahogany back inside, sick atop. Um, ebony fretboard, ebony bridge. Um, single O size. Ideal for home recording, basically. Because um, the booming sound of a dreadnought is not always what you want. But I'm very intrigued by this other Gibson there now. It's a, uh, from what I can tell, it looks like a B25 three quarter guitar, the Sunburst. And, uh, and you know what else I wanted to say? When I, the last video I did just talking like this, got about the same amount of views as the ones I shared on Facebook and Reddit. So. I'm going to forget about sharing all over Facebook unless I feel like it or whatever. It's just kind of a waste. It's like no one's worthwhile on there messaging me or saying anything worthwhile. And I don't check notifications on Facebook at all. But, um... So tomorrow... After 6 p.m., the guy's going to deliver it to my house. And um, at that point, I'm going to inspect it. See, I, I was thinking about, and I can't even... That other Gibson that's there is... I can't even tell you how much. I, I just want to talk to the guy and find out more about, about it, just because I'm curious. Because it doesn't say what year it is. It, it's very little information. I don't know that it's vintage or not. I think it may just be used, but it's very nice looking. Kind of a low key model too. But I can't, you know, I can't start losing my mind with this. But I'm very like anxious and excited to see how the Martin is because I, it's just what this channel needed. It's just what I needed. And it's gonna take me a while to pay it back, but maybe I can pick up some extra hours. Because I have a Gibson. Because I I had a Gibson elect. I have a Gibson SG and the Gibson. And I've only played Gibson. Martin is not any better or worse, but they're the king, really. Of, um, they're the most respected acoustic guitar builders in the world. And um, I made sure that when they say select mahogany neck, I asked them, is this a real mahogany neck or is it Spanish cedar or something? So, you know, it's a mahogany neck for, for sure. So, and I'd rather get something delivered from the store guy in person than some UPS dude dropping something off at my door or whatever. Because this is going to be planned out. It's legit. And maybe I can even have him appraise this Fender Dreadnought and this classical I have lying around that I got for some old sneakers. But, uh, so in other words, we're going back towards guitar now. But I play the harp every day when I'm at work, before work. It's awesome, I'm in the parking lot. And so I'm just gonna keep up on the harp, but now we're going back to guitar because I don't wanna lose all the guitar people. That, you know, I've been going hard on the harp, and this channel is about two things. It's about the harp, the guitar, and about progress and about vocals too and about us all getting better but um, 
It's still raining now. See, there's nobody here at the park now because it's raining. But I should get going home now pretty soon. Get to work today. But I think I said most of what I want to say. It's exciting, man. I don't know. I mean, you know, you're working hard. Sometimes you got to... You got to take a stretch out there. You can't take it with you. It's almost like investing in some equipment for the channel, but it's way deeper than that. But I don't know whether I'll do a first impressions. I, mean, I wanted to have a couple days with it, but then they asked me, can you work on Thursday too? Which is all right. I'm happy to do it. but So I won't... I just wanted to take a few days to chill out, but I guess I gotta go back to work after tomorrow. But I'm gonna need it. I'll have my get my Gibson fixed too. But I wanna start playing now. You know, I, I wanna start playing right away. And the guy's gonna do a setup on it too before he brings it to me. He's gonna set it up so that it works well with a pick and finger style so I didn't want a double O as I have a double O and I heard a couple comparison videos and I'm not one for comparison things but to me and I even and you know who else I listened to was Mark Agnesi who uh, on his videos on Norman's Rare Guitars he talks about how sometimes the, the single O can outclass the double O or the triple O and how for home recordings, it's awesome, man. How um, and just how the um, the single O is is. Um, I was re reading from another person that it's like an all, if they could only have one guitar, that's what they would have, and that's kind of what I want, like an all arounder. Which the Gibson L Double O to me is an all arounder if you have elixir strings. On. I've never owned a Martin, never even really played one that I can think of. So that's pretty exciting. But I, that's what I did, I researched a couple different areas. Like Mark Agnesi, I really respect him. You don't, shouldn't judge him off the Play Authentic video, like before I knew how good the guy is. I mean, and not just that he's good, there's a lot of players that are good that I don't like their style. But Mark Agnesi is um, good and he's very knowledgeable too about history. So when I called this guy at the store in Northampton, I didn't like how they listed it LG4. That doesn't exist. There's a LG0, LG1, LG2, LG3, a B25. But this one is a three-quarter size, and they say LG4, so correct me if I'm wrong, but... I don't think that exists. But we're just playing it by ear, you know? I'm trying to learn. But I'm not... <clears throat> I'm at a point where I'm not playing junky guitars because I'm really trying to record my best stuff. Uh, and I'm a guy who knows what he likes at this point. I'm 29 years old. So just, you know, I have to stay tuned. Um, there's a lot of critters out today. I think I saw a beaver or something. It was really weird on the field earlier. But, um, you know, I haven't played in months. I don't want to lose my skills. So I think this is what I needed. It's what the channel needed. And, um, and I'm going to push over that mark, that milestone 500, and then I'll unlock the community tab, and it's going to be a wrap.
So I don't have time for fickle people and disrespectful people. And this channel's everyone's been alright. I'm just saying like I get respected at work. I'm just, I treat everybody well. So I'm gonna be treated well. I'm not gonna be you know, we're gonna relax and we're gonna keep moving forward because It's getting intense. It's getting intense. Well, I should get going before things hit the fan. This park's usually full. But I'll make a video as soon as I can with an update. But just know that this is not a low-level mark. This is not a... It's not the all-mahogany body either, like a 15 series. This is a Sitka top, solid mahogany back and sides. It's just, with Martin, you get more and more fancy adornments. You can get, I mean, just guitars that are kind of uh, traditional looking in style, but... but just pearled out to the max if you wanted that. With me, just the functionality, sound, tone, and feel just are, are, are paramount. You know. But I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching, by the way.